Hi everybody, it's Deborah from Queen Bee Studio and I'm here today with my video response for Crafty Chica 87, Miss Sabrina, here on YouTube. She has a challenge going on right now and you can either choose to do a pennant or something else. I obviously chose to do the pennant. And what I did was I started out with some paper that I just love from k and Company. I put that paper on the front and on the back and I'll show you the back in just a second. And then I decided to uh, do a hot air balloon which I thought would be kind of fun. So I didn't have any hanging around my house so I decided to go on the internet and actually found a digital stamp for a hot air balloon. And I'll show it to you. This is just printed on computer paper. I actually printed out the hot air balloon on cardstock and of course I was left with a black and white image that I decided to paper piece and so in case you're wondering how this is done I actually um, once I had my image I continued to print it over and over again on on different papers that I knew that I wanted to use in the project or thought I might use so see for example here on this blue I printed the image the exact size of the first image that's on the black and white or on the white cardstock and then I cut out where the sky would go. So once I had all my pieces cut and all of um, my colors determined, which of course is all purples and lavenders because I know that's your favorite, um, I began to put my whole um, balloon back together. And when I did that, I decided that I would put some of it on pop dots to give the illusion that there was some movement. So if you look on the sides real closely, you can see that the colors that I cut out are actually on top of the white cardstock. And on this side, I did the same thing and underneath. And I actually... Um, also put the bow up on pop dots. I actually glued down onto the hot air balloon on the left and the right side but I put the center portion only on the pop dot and then I left the bows loose so that they would sort of look like they were blowing in the breeze. Of course that's my imagination but hey it works for me. Then once I got all of that in place I went back to my um, printer and I picked up a really pretty font that I like out of my Microsoft Word program and printed out Crafty Chica 87. And I'll bring it up close so you can see. Sorry about the lighting. Our lighting is horrible here in Arizona. We've been very overcast today. Usually I film when it's bright and sunny, so I'm not even sure how well this will show up. And under that I put a little saying, May you continue to soar to new heights. And... I feel that that's exactly appropriate for you because I feel that you do exceptionally well. I love all the, th the things that you do. In particular, that lace cabinet really got my heart, girl. I love that one. At any rate, um, when I was done, because I know you like a lot of bling, so on the flowers that I set, I did a lot of stickling. I actually stickled the whole basket at the bottom and uh, everything pretty much is stickled. Now um, I added a little purple bling and I have some um, regular rhinestone bling in the bows and I thought it came out kind of pretty. I did put a little uh, blingy beads in there and I made you a stick pin because I know you like stick pins. And on the back it actually says whoops, to infinity and beyond. So really if you read it it says Crafty Chica 87, may you continue to soar to new heights, to infinity and beyond. Okay, so that's the pennant. Now, um, Sabrina also asked that we do a card. So I actually did a matching card. And what I did for the card was um, before I had glued down my balloon to the actual pennant, I scanned it in on my computer. It's called um, cheater digitizing. And obviously it would look really flat and I knew that. 
and I, I didn't mind at all because I knew I could jazz it up a little bit. And uh, what I did was take a jelly roll pen that I have in gold and outlined everything. I'm trying to get the angle so that you guys can see this a little better and see it sparkle. And then again took some stickles, used a piece of lace and my pearl trim. On the matching paper from the K & Company line that I used, I actually crumpled it up a real lot, took it over to my sewing machine, stitched along the edges before I actually glued it down. And then on the inside I've done a couple of layers of paper just so I can write Sabrina a note when I send it. And on the back is just my logo, no big deal. Now, I found a um, the box, um, dimensional box, 6x6 six six dimensional box that was done by Christina Betts. And I'm going to put that link below. So my little card actually has a matching box. And as you can see, the card slides in there really easily, and um, and it closes. And I took a little vintage uh, clasp that I had in my stash and used that for the closure. Again, these are flowers that I've collected. Um, I took a little Scrabble tile and put the S and put lots of stickles on there. Stickled all the flowers tucked in a couple of beads. Now this one's really pretty but I'm sure it won't show on camera. It's actually like a uh, very pale shell pink I would call it. And the one tucked in there is a little darker. And I hope that shows well. So I think it's a cute way to send a gift. As you can see the uh, paper is the same paper line and so it's all coordinated. Uh, Miss Sabrina, I wish you the best of luck. I think you do exceptionally well. I love all the projects that you do. And like I said to you, I love that lace cabinet. <laughs> so here you go. Your little card says to infinity and beyond. I thank you very much for watching. Thanks everybody. Your comments are always appreciated. And have a great day.